Hey, I'm Mike Jack. And I'm Jamie. And, and this is High Reviews. You got this, man. You guys just witnessed the world record happen. Brett! Come on! Come on, Mike! It smells like Reaper. Please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any hot reviews. Today on Hot Reviews, we're going to be trying some Woody's Original Clam Lube brand hot sauce. Remember when we like heard about them? When they're at Jungle Gyms and you were you like messaged me and was like, you have to check out this company. I think you're gonna like love them. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, just because I know Jamie loves uh, she loves mermaids. Mm -hmm. Pretty into the mermaid stuff. And yeah, there's mermaids on these bottles. Like, let's be honest. If you could be a mermaid or a person, like who's not gonna choose a mermaid? Yeah, mermaids are pretty cool. I guess if, well, I, I don't know if you'd care, but if you're a mermaid, you probably couldn't watch TV because your TV wouldn't work under the water. Yeah, but you don't, that's the thing that I love about animals. You don't need to watch TV because you have this like beautiful nature outside. Humans are just like dang fools because we have to watch TV because we don't understand nature and just like the beauty of being outside. It's a beautiful world. Because like think about it, animals don't like buy and like hoard stuff either, like humans do. Yeah. Well, well, I guess mermaids do, like Ariel, she was a legit hoarder. Yeah, she was a hoarder for sure. <laughs> she, she had who's it's and what's it's of plenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want thingamabobs? I got 20. <laughs> so Clam Lou is from Ohio. Right. But I'm pretty sure they have roots in California. And they're bringing that kind of Southern California, like surfer, surfer vibe. Surfer Zen. Surfer Zen to uh, to Ohio with these sauces. Mm -hmm. And to our mouths when we try them. Yeah, for sure, dude. Bodacious. <laughs> so the first sauce we're going to try here today from Woody's original Clam Lube brand is called Zing Bling Zesty Ginger Bite Hot Sauce. I'm all over this because of the ginger. Oh yeah, for sure. Jamie is huge into the ginger. That's like one of her favorite things. I like the ginger too, but not as much as Jamie. This hot sauce is two out of five peppers on the Clam Lube heat scale. So for ingredients, this sauce has tomatoes, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, organic brown sugar, onion, chili peppers, which are lemon drops, serrano, and habanero, ginger, cilantro, avocado oil, salt, and citrus zest. Nice. Sounds delicious. Oh yeah, it says on the back here, Columbus, Ohio, San Francisco, California. I want to go to San Fran really bad. Yeah? I want to go Me see too. some sea lions. Yeah. We should definitely take a uh, California adventure sometime. We've never been, but mm -hmm. it seems uh, pretty awesome in the, in the movies and on TV and pictures. I'm like kind of obsessed with like old Hollywood. Like I love like reading books and watching movies about like the 1920s to like the 40s especially. I can really smell tomatoes. Yeah. I don't really smell any heat. No, me neither. I feel like this is going to be a sauce that you just like pour on food. Yeah. Smells like a little bit gingery, but yeah, mostly tomatoes, I'd say, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't smell a lot of heat, but it is it is only a two out of five yeah. on the heat scale. Which is like good, so people can just like work their way up. Yeah, for sure, you know, sometimes some people don't want the hottest hot sauce all the time. They want a sauce with a Bit of heat, lots of flavor, so mm -hmm. let's give this one a try. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. It's hotter than it smells. It is, it has kind of, I think it was more of a kick of like 
zest, but then like spice. Mm -hmm. You think so? It's got like an interesting taste that I like really can't place. Yeah, it is interesting because it's got like tomatoy flavor, but it also has that. It does have a zest. I know, I like it. Yeah, it's just like a like a burst of zestiness. And it, it makes you can taste the heat. Yeah. It tastes uh yeah, like serrano, uh, habanero mm -hmm. peppers. It's got the lemon drop peppers in it, which a lot of people say that it's like one of the best tasting peppers, and I okay. actually haven't had one before. But it does have like a lemony taste. I wonder if, the, if part of that is from the actual lemon drop peppers, or if it's from like the like citrus zest that's in it. It's definitely from the zest. Yeah, but I don't know what a lemon drop tastes like. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, some of it might be from that, but I'll have to try one sometime and we'll see, see what it's like, I mm -hmm. guess. But yeah, that's, it is an interesting sauce. Like it's, um, yeah, it just like has that kind of, I don't know, like a real, like a, like a, like fruity zest that just yeah. makes it, makes you, makes you feel kind of like, kind of warm inside, like a real, you know, like a, California flavor, I guess, right? Yeah, it's pretty versatile, too. Yeah, I'd say so. Definitely, like, marinated on anything. Yeah. Well, yeah, because uh, the tomato base, I think, makes it pretty versatile. And because uh, it's, like, liquidy, which is, like, I love the liquidy sauces for marinating. Yeah. I think this would be a good sauce to put on... I think pizza. It'd be, well, yeah, pizza. I have... I think everything's good on pizza, but yeah, this would be good on pizza. But I think especially like some like tacos, you know, sometimes yeah. you have like the tacos and you put like a, you know, a squeeze of like lemon or a squeeze of lime on like yeah. a taco. Like that's what this sauce has. It has that kind of zesty, like lemony type, like dispersed of flavor, you know? Yeah, I kind of never thought about that, but it's totally right. So the next sauce we're going to try here today from Woody's Original Clam Lube Brand Hot Sauce it's called Raquel's Revenge, drenched in fire. And this one is four out of five peppers on the clam lube heat scale. What do you think about the clam lube labels? I like it. It's got the like, kind of like old school tattoo like feel, I guess. And it's got a mermaid on it, so. Yeah, it does. So with a name like Raquel's Revenge, drenched in fire, so it sounds like it's going to be a pretty hot sauce, mm -hmm. but it is only four out of five peppers, okay. so I don't know. For ingredients, this mm -hmm. sauce has Trinidad Scorpion Maruga peppers, Pasilla peppers, Serrano peppers, red wine vinegar, liquid soy protein, organic brown sugar, citrus zest, and spices. This one has like my interest. For sure. Yeah? Yeah. Especially the Trinidad scorpion peppers, right? Mm-hmm. That's like one of your big interests. I'm interested in like the soy protein. Um, it has something else interesting in it. Well, the sp I'm interested in the spices. And then, oh, the red wine vinegar makes yeah. with like the, the liquid soy protein. I, think... I have like an envision of what it tastes like. And I'm really curious to see if huh. that's what it's going to taste like. I think I'm most interested in the Trinidad scorpion peppers and the serrano peppers. Cause you love the serranos. Yeah, I love the taste of serranos. Um, and yeah, I love I love the the heat of the Trinidad scorpions. I love that mm. sting. I used to be pretty afraid of that sting, but now I've kind of come to enjoy it. I like the uh, the deep burn of a scorpion pepper. Hmm. Oh, it's very pepper scented, right? It's yeah. more pepper scented than I expected. Yeah, me too. I can... It definitely smells like, uh, this one's, the last one didn't really smell like peppers. No. This one smells pretty pepper yeah. forward. And yeah, you can also smell the, I think it's the red wine vinegar. There's something else like, yeah, that's what I smell mm -hmm. anyway. But yeah, mostly, mostly pepper scented, I know. so... Let's see, you want a big spoonful, right? Yeah, I'm like... Tell me when. 
Oh, you're Look going, good. you're going full spoon already, eh? I guess, yeah. All right. Can't get around my spoon. Going full spoon for that. Oh, I gotta go full. I always go full spoon. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Ooh, this one is whoa. Yeah. This one gave me a, a little shiver. It goes crazy from two to four. Oh yeah, this one's a lot hotter than the last one. Now that the pep, so it's very pepper forward, I feel, uh -huh. in the beginning. And now I'm getting some <clears throat> of the other flavors, which is like kind of what I envisioned it to taste like. Yeah. This one hit, this one hit my ears actually. Really? Yeah, the, yeah, the jump don't, is crazy. Well, I usually don't get that in my ears, but... <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling it in my ears, just like the kind of... Like, almost like an ear pop. But yeah, I think... This one, as soon as you put it in your mouth, it was like... It was... Oh, I'm starting to get it in my throat. It was hot. Like, it was, it was like scorpion pepper hot. Oh, yeah. And then I think it kind of mellowed down a bit. I could taste, like, the sweetness from, like, yeah. the, the brown sugar after, and... This is like, you know how like when you're swimming in the ocean, there's like um, <clears throat> green, yellow, red, like uh, flags? Oh yeah. So this is like a green flag, and then this is like a yellow flag. Yeah? Yeah. This one's, yeah, it's pretty hot. Not like, I'd say, I'd say it's a chili head sauce. Yeah. But it's not like, um, it's not like super insane, like some of the, like ones that are, you know, mostly peppers in it. Yeah. But yeah, it's. Definitely hotter sauce, hotter than I hotter than I expected to be. Oh honest. yeah, yeah, me too. I kind of have like a bit of like serrano. I can taste the serrano more now. Before I could just taste the scorpion heat, but okay. And yeah, the I didn't mention it when we were pouring it, but the texture of the sauce was kind of neat. Like it was, um, it was kind of like like liquidy, but there was a lot of like chunks. Like yeah. It looked like like uh like just like pepper chunks, like almost like a pepper mash, like in it. Yeah. Right. I think that this one you could do like anything with it again. Yeah. I feel like they're all probably gonna be like that. Yeah, I feel I feel that this one is. Um, I th I'd say this one's even more versatile than the last one, just because it's it is really pepper forward, and mm -hmm. I think those are the most versatile sauces when it's just like, you know, just pepper. Not a lot of like fruity taste in this one. Right. I didn't think it's a it's a little bit sweeter, but not like. Not sweet enough that you'd use it as like a dessert sauce no, or anything. No. But yeah, I'd say yeah, literally like anything you would put hot sauce on, this would be good for like uh, you know pizza, Mexican food, stir fry, like breakfast yeah. foods, like anything. This like is marinade again. Yeah, for sure. Throw it on a sandwich, a burger, just like yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It would definitely be like the sauce you take to a restaurant when you're not sure what you're going to order. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd agree with that for sure. Yeah, it's, um, but yeah, another good sauce mm -hmm. from uh, Clam Lube. Good job, guys, over mm -hmm. at uh, Clam Lube. Uh, yeah, that one's good. Uh, yeah, I like I like the heat on this one. This is one that I would that I would use quite a bit, I think. And I can use it too. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So the next sauce we're going to try here today from Woody's original Clam Lube brand hot sauce is called Akua Wakaka, the devil's barrel. And it is five out of five peppers on the Clam Lube heat scale. So this one is uh, a little scary because this one's five out of five. That last one was pretty hot. Yeah. We still have two more to go. And these ones are uh, the hotter ones. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty nuts. So the Devil's Barrel, that's gotta have something to do with surfing, right? Because I think that's like a, like a surfing term, like a barrel, I think? It's probably, so I don't know anything about surfing, except I was always jealous of people that knew how to surf. It yeah. just seems like such an amazing, like, magical time. Yeah. But my guess is gonna be like, the barrel has something to do with like, the wave. Like, yeah. You know how some waves are like, really like, curled? Like, maybe it has something to do with that. I think so. That's I hope I'm we're guessing. not like butchering the like surfer technology. There was like a big wave, like yeah. almost like a tsunami wave, like in the background of the picture. So yeah, I don't know. That's your guess. Uh, if you know stuff about surfing, let us know in the comments if that's true or if we're <laughs> just full of it, right? If we're just doing surfer one hundred and one of people who know nothing about surfing. Yeah. <laughs>
that would be. Do you think that would be a good YouTube show? Like, if they had a show with like people who know like nothing about something, and then they just like start talking about it. <laughs> and about what they think. Yeah, about what they think it is. Yeah. All right. So for ingredients, this sauce has water, fresh cayenne, fresh serrano, Carolina Reaper, mango, white wine vinegar, brown sugar, lime juice, salt, avocado oil, herbs de Provence. We have them. It's like what we sprinkle on our naan bread all the time. Oh, is it? Okay, cool. Yeah. But I heard that you shouldn't say naan bread, that you should just say naan. Naan, because you're basically saying bread bread. Because you're basically saying bread bread, yeah. Because naan is just bread, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So this had some uh, cool things in it. Some mango. That's cool. I like the fruity sauce. It also has some Carolina Reapers. I like those. Oh. Whenever you say, oh, I'm like, what does it smell like? Oh, yeah. It smells different than I thought. It's from the spices. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. It has like, I would say it smells like, like, just like refreshing. It is, yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I don't really smell peppers. I'm like really. I don't really smell mango that. either. Yeah, it's just, it's. It's the herbs. Is that what it is? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it smells totally different than what I thought it would smell like. But let's taste it and see how it tastes. Do you like it? Is that good? Yeah. Well, maybe a little more because I'm really interested in the taste of this one to see if it tastes like what it smells like. Thanks. This one's a little bit more liquidy than um, the other one. Yeah. Actually, I think when I poured it on my spoon, it has a few more chunks in it. Oh, okay. I think maybe you got... Sometimes they're a little liquidy on the, on the top, I think. Yeah, that's but... okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. <clears throat> this one's a throat burner. Yeah? Yeah, just wait for it. It, it burned me in the throat. Oh yeah, it, it's starting to get me now, actually. But it's definitely refreshing. Yeah. I like this one. This one's neat. I kind of, I don't know, personally I think that the other one was hotter. You think so? I do too. The other one, was, it's different though. The other one like stung you on the tongue, whereas this one like is getting me in the throat but yeah. not the tongue at all. I think that's characteristics of those peppers. That's what they say. They say that Carolina Reaper's more of a throat burning sauce okay. and that uh, scorpion peppers are more like that deep sting on your tongue. I do think the other one was spicier. Yeah. Um, I don't really know why, but I really like the the herbs in this one. Yeah. And all the flavors. Yeah, this one is like a, yeah, it's an interesting taste. It's like hard to, hard to describe, I think, but yeah. Another like, uh, like pretty, like another like really versatile sauce. It's oh yeah. Like, I think you could put the sauce on anything, but... Definitely, like, on potatoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's so different. It must be the... It must be from the spices, right? Oh, excuse me. I'm getting a bit of the... Oh, pepper burps here. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely, like, super refreshing. Yeah. It's a very refreshing sauce. Yeah, it's... That's, that's the only way I can uh, subscribe, yeah. or describe it, I guess. Subscribe. But, uh... I'd, sus I'd subscribe to this sauce. You'd, you'd put in a subscription for <laughs> yeah. the sauce? Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, it's a good sauce. Mm
So the last sauce we're gonna try here today from Woody's original clam lube brand hot sauce is called Love Spice. Makes you sweat. And this one is also five out of five peppers on the clam lube heat scale. And for ingredients, this sauce has water, cranberries, fresh cayenne, Carolina Reaper, chipotle powder, onion, brown sugar, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, red bell pepper, and vanilla. You know what I'm here for. What are you here for? Cranberries and vanilla. Cranberries and vanilla. Oh yeah. The cranberry sauces, oh, I just love them. I feel like they're super underrated. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, I was never a fan of just, you know, cranberry Neither sauce that. that you'd have for like holidays and yeah. stuff like that. But once we started trying like spicy cranberry sauces, I'm all, I'm all about, I'm all about that now. Yeah. Give this one a really good shake. See if we can piss off those Carolina Reapers in there. Just for you, right? I love the color of it too. Yeah. Yeah, I like the, I like the picture. It's got a... Got a heart back there on like some kind of flower. Mm-hmm. It's a love spice. Maybe it's like a love potion. I'm so excited to smell it. <sighs> it's like love. Yes! It smells what I thought it would smell like! It's like love in a bottle. It's so vanilla y. Yeah. And like cranberry and like a little bit of pepper. Yeah. Yeah, I can't I can't smell the peppers that much in it, but yeah, cranberry for sure and vanilla. Yeah, and vanilla, yeah. This needs to have like an air freshener. Or oh something. yeah. Get on that clam lube, get some love spice air fresheners. We'll put one up in our in our car. Give it that fresh uh, new car smell or something or they're like smells like this I guess yeah this uh it's a good name for it, it smells like love yeah, right? oh yeah it's like makes you happy smelling it yeah like the you know pure innocent love not the not the dirty love you want some more uh sure that's good all right it's got, kind of, yeah, I think these sauces all have a similar consistency. They're really yeah. easy pours. Mm -hmm. They got some chunks of stuff in them, which is good. They have the best of both worlds. Yeah, for sure. Okay, you ready? Yeah, so excited. Oh, yeah. This one I know. <clears throat> oh, I got a little kick of heat there. It tastes exactly what it oh, smells yeah. like. <clears throat> this one's hit. Oh, oh, it's getting hotter in my throat. This is definitely a five out of five. Yeah. This is definitely the hottest one. Yeah, you think so? I yeah. think it might be, yeah. And it's got like, it might be like the best tasting one too. Um, It's definitely my favorite. Yeah, this one's really good. Good job, Clam Lube. Yeah, it's got, yeah, it's got that cranberry taste. And yeah, like. And the like, vanilla taste. I yeah. love the vanilla in it. And it's got some heat too, like it's not uh, it's not like an insane face melter sauce. Like to some, you know, to some people this is going to be like a really hot sauce. Mm -hmm. But for people who are pretty used to the hot sauces, it's not like crazy, but it's it brings heat for sure. It's, uh, it's a good sauce all around. I might have to like kind of put this one deeper <clears throat> in the fridge. Sometimes oh, yeah? I do that with a cranberry one, hoping you forget about them. Oh, so no. that I can eat like all of it. <laughs> Yeah. This one has like holiday meals written all over it, oh, hummus, yeah. like um, sweet stuff, but also like oh, yeah. savory. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you want a, like a pretty hot sauce to put on uh, some like ice cream or desserts or, and stuff and like, like that. And like pie or pie, stuff. Yeah, you could use a sauce for that, I think. Oh yeah. I, it's like sweet enough for that, because but also I'm pretty, pretty like. Hot. I'm pretty picky about putting like hot sauces on sweet stuff. Yeah. But I like fully endorse putting this one on sweet stuff. Yeah. And you're all about the uh, like you mentioned, like mixing in a cranberry hot sauce with hummus. 
which is uh, pretty good. Yeah. You just uh, just spread that on like a cracker or use it as a dip and it's delicious stuff. This would be a good one for that. Um, to be honest, I would put any of them in hummus. Yeah? Oh yeah. This one's a, uh, this one I feel like the, the heat's starting to come back on my tongue a bit. Yeah. But, it's uh, not gone away for me. Yeah, it's def it's definitely a linger. Um, yeah, this one's I like this one a lot. This one's a really good one. This one's my favorite for sure. Yeah, I agree. I'd say this one's my favorite. I really like that um, that Raquel's uh, revenge one as well. Right. Uh, yeah, because that one's uh that one's got some heat. Yeah, this one's uh, yeah, it's it's pretty like. It's interesting. I think it's it's pretty pepper forward, but also yeah, like you get. It kind of, you get the flavors in like waves almost, yeah. right? Like you can taste like a, the cranberry and the, the vanilla brown sugar type sweetness. A bit of the, like I think it said it had the lime juice or lemon juice or something in it, right? I think it had lime. Yeah, it's got some lime juice. Yeah. But yeah, that's a, I don't really like that one. Yeah, and the, the flavor is just like sticking with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like that one a lot. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, it's, honestly, like, I think it's hard to tell because we just had, like, you know, three, like, pretty hot sauces in a row. Yeah. But it's pretty close for heat between this one and that Raquel's Revenge, I think. But it also depends, like, which, like, which peppers you're used to. Because I'm pretty used to, I'm more used to Carolina Reapers than I am with, like, scorpion peppers. So. Right. And, yeah, it is, like, a different, a different burn, like we were saying. I think it's hotter. I think it's the one hottest. The hottest one, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'd say yeah, all these sauces are great. Mm -hmm. Even the uh, if you want something that's not like really super hot, this uh, Zing Bling one is a really great one too. Zesty, zesty ginger bite. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. We'll start your journey with this one, and then you can work your way up to yeah. their lineup. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, if you want, if you're if you're already worked up and you want like. More of a chili head sauce with some uh, some good flavor to it as well. Then yeah, these other three are like really good sauces. Yeah. So. They have like fun names too. Yeah, it's kind of a fun company. Like yeah, I don't know. I like when you got like you know with these labels and uh, just like kind of the color of the sauce and like with the flavors too. They're really like like bright, happy things, and it makes yeah. you, makes you feel makes you feel happy. Like just just eat them. Just. Uh, you know, like, it's got that, that California vibe, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, just like chill and have fun and bright colors. And eat good food. Eat good food, yeah. Wanna wrap it up? Yes. <clears throat> so if you want to know more about Woody's original Clam Lube brand hot sauce, just check out the details in the description below. Thanks for watching Hot Reviews, and we'll see you next time.